Hey guys, Prevised here, and today we're going to be creating a light source in Roblox Studio. So, what we got to try to accomplish is once we click on a part, another part has a light in it that turns off and on. So, I'm going to speed build through the, uh, the building part, and I'm going to come back, I'm going to start it back so you guys can see the scripting part. So, peace. Alright guys, I'm back. So I created the light source. So once we're going to click this part right here, then this light will turn on and off. But we need to insert a light into the part that we want to glow. So we're going to insert a point light. Okay, let's change the range to maybe 15. There we go. Alright, so to turn off the light, there is enabled. So disable, enable, so that's how you turn it off and on. So we're going to keep it off right now. Actually, let's actually turn it off. Okay, so we have the light off right now. So inside the part that you want to be able to click to make it turn off and on, you're going to want to insert a script and in the part also a we're looking for click detect right here all right so so make a variable for the part script dot parent so we got the script right here and if it was just called this we would still have script dot parent because it's called a script and then we go into its parent which is right here script dot parent so part let's make a click function so part dot click click the tech tour why do I always feel bad click detector dot mouse click and then connect function I always spell function wrong and I'll probably say that in all my videos probably say oh, I always spell it wrong whatever so we have a function right here so once we click this part, then let's make another variable for the light. Oh, what am I doing? Light equals game dot workspace space dot spell workspace wrong space dot. Okay, we need to name this light. It can be whatever you want. Game nuts. Instead of doing game dot workspace dot light, we're gonna want to do game dot workspace colon wait for child, and then this, there, and then we're gonna want to put the name of it. Okay, so once we touch, I mean once we click this part right here, script up here. Once we touch it then light dot so we're in the light right now light dot point light what we're trying to do is light get the the property of enabled and we want to turn it to true so light dot point light yes but there light dot point light dot enabled make sure it's not enabled it has to be enabled equals and this is a boolean right here a bool value boolean true so it's gonna be like this that's what it's gonna be this light's gonna come on so that's what we're trying to do all right so you see it's off right now and then Click. Oh, look. Now see it. It doesn't. If you don't. If once you click it again, 
nothing happens. It doesn't turn off. Now that sucks. Now, to, to do that, then we're going to want to do if oh, what the heck? Did it freeze on me? Oh, snap. I think it froze on me. Alright. So if light which is this dot point light dot enabled equals false so in a if statement you can't put just one equal sign it has to it has to have two so enabled is equal to false then okay so if this property right here enabled is fault is false then light which is this that point light equals true so the enable equals true and then there's something called else and then we're gonna wanna paste it in again why is it acting like this so if it's false, then come true, and then like if we would press it again, then it becomes false, and then it will keep doing the same thing over and over. So let's see what's gonna happen. There we go. So we have a light switch. Now as you can see, this light switch right here, it does not move. Now if you wanna want if you're gonna want it to move. Or make it look like it would move once you click like go up and down I could show you how to do that so that's really it for the script for the light now just stay tuned if you want to see how we can make this go up and down to make it look more realistic <clears throat> so what we're gonna want to do because I rather not mess with the rotation to make it rotate like this I rather not. Like once we click, rotation goes like this. Once we click again, it goes like this. I wouldn't want to do that. Now let's move this a little more down. Okay. Control D to duplicate. Let's make another one. Hold up. I'm trying to get this right. I guess that's good. Okay, so this is going to be the on right here. Just create a new one that's on. So that's going to be, I know it looks kind of weird, confusing. This is going to be the on. Let's name it on. This one going to be off. Now, we want it to, we want off. Okay, no, we want on to be transparent to one so you cannot see it. And off is going to stay as transparency as zero. So we can see it. So it's going to be off. Okay, so we got on and off. Actually, on. I'm, I'm sorry, guys. Hold, hold up, hold up. Okay, so once we have that, take all the scripts out of on and off. Duplicate whatever other part. Now, what we want to do. We want to create another part that we can that we're gonna click, and that's gonna do the changing for like to make it go on and off. We just just make a new part, and then you take all of this right here, insert it into that new part. That's all you want to do. Very simple. So this part right here is gonna have to be be clicked now. So try, okay, there we go. So this is the part that's going to be clicked. So on has no scripts, off has no script. Okay, cool. Now let's see what's going to happen. It should be the same. We just want to extra. We just want to make sure it's the same. Yep, the same. So what we're clicking now is this part that has the click detector now. We're, that's very simple. We're just clicking that part. We're not clicking that off or on. So now, once we click this, all right, let's read it. So once, once we click, 
this part. So if light dot point light dot enable equals is equal to false, then it becomes this the point light becomes enabled. Now once it becomes enabled, then we want this on button to be the transparency to become zero so we can see it. So that's gonna be very simple to do. So we want to make a variable for on on equals game dot workspace wait oh for there we go and this oops and then on is the name of it okay then another variable off equals game dot workspace space wait for child off yeah all right so now what we're gonna wanna do is we gotta fly right here. So once it becomes true, we also want on, which is game dot workspace, which is on on dot transparency. Can't spell it right. Transparency. I spell bad equals zero. So now once it's clicked, we can see it. Alright. I'll notice I spelled it wrong. I spell stuff bad. Transparency. I spell so bad, man. <laughs> and okay, so let's copy that. And then if we click it again. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. Off dot transparency equals one. So once we click and it becomes, and the light does come on. So once the light comes on, we want it to become the transparency is one on off. So this is off. We want that to become, yeah, the one right here. That's off. You'll see what I mean. Let's check out what's going to happen. See, now it's on. Now look. But it doesn't get changed back. Now, to do that, copy this. So when it becomes false, then the tr on transparency is one and off is zero so you can see the off now let's check it out Ooh. now we have ourselves a light switch that's very neat now to make it look more realistic I guess I would say more realistic this uh, the light part the material change it to neon that's a ni that's a nice little uh, material for lights and it came out not too long ago I think they made it not too long ago pretty neat good job Roblox well I hope you guys enjoyed please like and subscribe thank you